Fashion designer and artist Shane had a glamorous life in London, but he and the capital no longer saw eye to eye and he wanted out. His plan was to swap his one-bed flat for a whole new life near the sea. I've never really felt at home in London. Just never had a real empathy with London at all. I've had a great 10 years in the in fashion industry and I just need to desperately change. Actually, it is a desperation. I just need to change. And it really is all change. He wants to swap the tubes and traffic for a lighter and brighter life on the North Kent coast. I feel very much the Kent coast is like England was maybe in the 50s and 60s. It's still very much untouched. It's absolutely beautiful. He's just accepted an offer close to a quarter of a million for his one-bed flat in London. The challenge for Kirsty and I is to make sure we find the perfect place for Shane to work, rest and play. There's no doubt it's lovely being by the sea, but I think Shane is going to need a little more than that. I've got to see what else this coast has to offer. As we search, this part of Kent is becoming very popular with Londoners who want a seaside bolt hole, and prices are rising. But in some bigger towns like Margate, you still get very good value for money. But if you want to live in one of the smaller, more fashionable towns like Whitstable, you have to pay the price. There's one other important thing Shane wants from his time in Kent. He loves to paint and wants this to be a bigger part of his life. He wouldn't be the first artist to be attracted to this part of the coast. And with new galleries opening all the time, there should be no shortage of places where he can exhibit his work. Now, it's not going to buy itself, this house. As they say in the movies, show me the money. My budget is ideally 150 to 235. Right. Your most preferred location is Whitstable. Number two? Margate. Right. Thank you, Doug. There we are, Margate. How far south inland can we bring you? About 100 yards, I think, is the answer to that question. Yeah. As close to the sea as we can get it. Yeah, you, really, that's the, the reason why I'm That's moving. the whole point. As well. soon as you get down there, Phil, you'll see that the light and the air, mm. when you get to the sea, is, is just staggering. It's got the scale that we were looking for. Sure. This house is in Cliftonville, half a mile from Margate's seafront. Though he'd rather live as near the sea as possible, we thought the features more than made up for the extra walk to the beach. It's a six-bedroom semi on three floors and currently on the market for £195,000. The top floor currently has two bedrooms, but kirsty has got the sledgehammer out again. You could have this as one huge room. Structurally, that would be okay to take Structurally, us out. Structurally, that would be fine. Okay. Yeah. Didn't know that. How would the light be and, and the size, recognising that you paint large canvases? Slightly dark. Uh, just that's have okay. a look. This, this room's got two that's, windows. You see, that's got two windows in there. See that? Yeah. See that? That's really good. And there. if you got rid of this wall, and, and there's nothing right. to stop you putting in another roof light. No, no. Or and, a bigger of one. Of course. Yeah. Huge. Yeah. Huge. Huge change. <laughs> huge change, huge amount of work, yeah. huge potential, a lot to think about. Yes, definitely. Let's get on with it. Shane's made a decision. The six-bed semi is a winner after all. He asked me to put in an offer of 180 grand and I've just heard back. You're joking me. I can't believe they, they're going to accept the 180. That's fantastic, isn't it? So it's a done deal. Shane is now the proud owner of a great new home that he got at a great price. 55 grand under budget. Ten years on and Shane's been busy. He's now remodelled the house in a big way. By knocking down walls and moving the downstairs bathroom, he's created a fantastic spacious kitchen and redecorated with an artist's eye. And the change in life tempo has seen him embark on new creative projects like silk tie and jewellery design. His artwork's also going from strength to strength. Living by the sea here has enabled me to, to put the best into my work. So my paintings, my jewellery or my ties have grown because I'm a happier person here. And that's, that's, what, that's what this town has given me, is the ability to be able to, to be myself now, finally. And now, 17 years since we first met our man in Margate, he's continuing to put his oceans of creativity to good use, although not precisely where we left him. Same town, different house. Four years ago, Shane moved around the corner to another Victorian semi in Cliftonville. Having had the opportunity 
of such a big project with that house Kirstjen Phil found for me in 2003, all those years ago. I had this hunger to do it again. The big rooms, the wood floors, and also the need to make everything good again. This new house came on the market and it was just an amazing, amazing opportunity. Unsurprisingly, he's again created a very stylish haven, stripping back floors, making the kitchen lighter and brighter by knocking through and taking the bedrooms back to the future, removing the features of one particular period and restoring his favorite Victorian ones. So I was very lucky to find this, but there was no fireplaces here. So I put all the fireplaces back. Thanks to his impressive improvements and a buoyant market, Shane sold the house we found him for 450 grand, having paid 180, and that's put him in a better position financially. It is very, very stressful being an artist and not knowing where the next money is coming from. Despite its precarious nature, making art is Shane's passion and the reason for his move here. These days, he's mixing up his mediums more than ever, and the garden is his current studio. I use resin and all different materials, so dust, sand, everything goes everywhere. So in a beautiful house like this, now even if I had a studio in this house, the room would be ruined and it would be actually sacrilege. So I love to work outside. Not so practical in winter, so Shane's been saving up for a summer house studio which is arriving soon. Life's most definitely a different pace from his long gone London days. All that sea air keeps him inspired and typical Shane, he's turned his love of the outdoors and dogs into a sideline, dog walking and dog boarding for both local pooches and the canine companions of visiting guests. I don't mind the dog wandering through the house. Um, he can sit on the furniture. Even though I know my furniture looks beautiful and it looks almost like museum-like, you can actually sit as you want. The dog can jump everywhere. I don't care at all. The freedom afforded by his lifestyle means Shane really does get to move as the creative spirit takes him. Having previously only designed jewelry, he's soon learning to craft it. With so much on, it's easy to forget that his Kent move was about a calmer life. Here, I have a different type of stress. It's stress that I create. And also the light and the sea air and the peace down here, it means that I'm a much, much happier person and it all just works. I never really rest, but it's not unhappiness in any way. It's just a joy of actually life.